This presentation is to help year teens with their essay writing and we are looking particularly at Ray Bradbury's short stories. As you prepare for the upcoming test and examinations, bear the following in mind. Your essay must be based on both the short stories, so make sure that you know them equally well. Aim to write at least five paragraphs with a minimum of 300 words. In any essay test or exam, you will get a choice of at least three topics, and these are some of the types of topics that you could get. So the first one is looking at importance character from the text, and remember we are talking about both our short stories, or describe an importance idea from the text. By that, we are talking about a theme that is common to both texts, and describe an important moment from the text, of course, again, we are talking about the two texts, and this is the particular topic that I will be looking at in this presentation. So how do you go about structuring an introduction for the essay? Well, first you start with naming the two short stories, and in our case, it was The Welt and The Other Foot. Step two, name the anthology that the stories came from, and in our case, it was The Illustrated Man. The author, Ray Bradbury. And then you give the three main points of your essay, and that will make up the body of your essay. So what I've done here is I've given you a few bullet points that you could use to structure into a proper paragraph to make up your introduction. So what have I included? The titles of both short stories, the anthology they come from, and the author. Then I go about looking at what my three main body paragraphs could entail. So I start with the Welt, and I look at when the children actually kill their parents. Then I go on in paragraph two to the other foot, where the white man lands on Mars. Now why have I chosen those two particular moments as my moments of importance? And the reason is because they both bring in the idea of revenge, but, as we know, the revenge has been used in two very different ways in these two 1950s short stories. So that's the introduction done. Now for the body paragraphs. Remember that you should follow the structure of points. So you make your main points. Then you explain what you mean by your main points, and that would be in your own words. Then you give an example from the text, and you're aiming to get at least two quotes per paragraph. And finally, you either link or you make a judgment, and that's when you say what the reader has learnt from this main point. Take a moment to read through this possible structure of paragraph one, looking at the left-hand side of the slide. Note that I have made sure that I've stuck to the structure of making my points, putting my points into my own words, giving two different quotes or examples, and then reader judgment. Do the same again for paragraph two. Look at the left-hand side for possible content for your paragraphs, and note that again I have followed that structure we're almost there, we're on to paragraph 3, and again, read through the left-hand side of this slide. For the conclusion, mention your two short stories again, and then repeat the topic so that you make sure that you are focused back on what your original intention was. Then compare the lessons learnt in the two short stories, and then you could perhaps m mention what you, as a reader, have gathered from Bradbury's society in the 1950s, bearing in mind that you don't bring any new information into your conclusion. Now it is time for you to choose an essay topic, either the character one, the idea one, or the moment one. Remember to go back to your notes and the text to come up with your points, your explanations, your examples, and your judgments. Good luck.